Welcome back everyone to more X4 Foundations content here at Knee Pit Gaming. Today's video is going to be a short video spotlighting a particular mod that has helped me out with a couple of issues that I've come across uh, and really helped to streamline my gameplay and make a few things a lot easier than they had been just using the base game. The name of that mod is the Station Mule mod. I'll give you a link. It's on Nexus Mod. And I'll give you a link in the video description below to take you directly to it. It's a very simple mod. Station Mule mod attempts to do a couple of things. Number one, it allows you to pick a source station and a target station and move wares from the source station directly to the target station. So you set up two stations and goods will go in one direction from the source to the target. And we'll take a look at that more specifically here in just a moment. The second thing it allows you to do is actually assign the ship as a subordinate to the source station. And what that does is it doesn't change any of the behavior of the mod or the ship. What it does do is allow all of the proceeds from the sales, if any, to stay within the actual source station account. That was very helpful to me. The other thing it can do is it will allow you to decide whether or not you're going to carry energy cells. Uh, one of the issues that you have with auto trade when the particular trader is trading as part of a station as a subordinate is that a lot of times they spend just simply running around with energy cells and that is very inefficient and certainly isn't helping us to make any money. So for our purposes, we need to we needed to address these particular issues. And now we're going to talk about how this mod does exactly that. And to do that, we're going to use a couple of uh, different examples from our existing stations. If you've been following along with our gameplay series, then you know that currently, as of our most recent video, we had four stations making various goods uh, that were to be sold. We have uh, quite an expanding fleet, and it seems like I'm constantly finding a need for additional traders and or miners here within the fleet. But one of the issues I was having is I needed a way to move certain products from one station to another. The Station Mule mod will allow me to do just that. And let's take a look at our first example over here in Atikva's Choice, where I have a space weed factory and I want to set up a trade route over here to the trading station because it just so happens that the two products that we're making at this particular factory are both needed in large quantities by the trading station. So let's take a look at exactly what that is. If we come in under logical overview, you, here you can see on the far right our two products that we are exporting and are great money makers for us. Okay, those are the two uh, products, the Space Weed and, and the Maha Dust. So I needed a way to set up very simply. Now you can do this with Auto Trade. That's not a problem. You can simply adjust the max gate distance that they can travel to buy and or sell. So it can be done. It's not a problem that it can't be done. But the issue I was having is this particular station doesn't have anything else that it sells. Everything else are either raw materials or intermediate goods that I want to keep in-house. So there was no money flowing into the account. So when I had traders set up under the unassigned ships category, they would come and they would pick up the dust and the space wheat. And sure enough, they would take it right over here to the trading station to be sold. But all of the money was being dumped into my main account rather than keeping it within the factory's account so that I could keep a much better track of just how profitable this factory is. So the station mule account or station mule mod will solve that problem. So if we come back in under, uh, let's actually expand this. And you can see I've got two traders that are listed under here. Now I've kept the naming uh, the way they were before because I had each individual product had its own trader that was dedicated to it. But uh, now using the station mule, I don't have to worry about that. These guys are going to take products from point A to point B. And let's take a look at an example of how that works. So we come in under the trader. In this case, I'm simply using 
Um, you could use couriers for this, the small ships, medium ships, it doesn't matter. The default behavior will be set up as station mule and you'll select that from the list just as you would auto trading, auto mining, and so forth. It does not have a certain number of stars as a requirement, so that is perfect regardless of the strength and ability of your particular captain. We're going to select a source station, which in this case is our Space Weed Factory. I want them to pick up any product that the Space Weed Factory has for sale that the trading station over here needs because the trading station is set up as my target station. So that's how you set up your two stations and the transfer of wares is only in one direction. They will not pick up any wares from the target station and move them to the source station. That's not what this mod is designed to do. This mod was designed to be very simple and efficient at what it does and I have to agree that they've accomplished that goal. Next we have our final two options for this particular mod which is assign ship to source. This is purely optional uh, but for me it was perfect in that it helped to fix one of the issues that I was having. So assigning the ship to the source does not change the behavior of the ship or the mod any whatsoever. What it does do is it changes where you want the credits for the sales of the goods to go. If I have this checked, then it's going to assign this ship as a subordinate to the source station. That means that all credits that it receives as proceeds from sales will go directly to the source station. If I uncheck this, then the credits received will simply go into my main account lumped in with all of the other money that we're receiving from unassigned uh, traders. The second option is also very important. Include energy sales. Now if you've played around a lot with assigning traders uh, to trade for certain stations, then you know that unfortunately they're not very efficient. They spend a lot of times running around with only energy sales in their inventory and that is very inefficient and certainly not helping us to increase our profits. So by not having this box checked, and it's not checked by default, by not having it checked they will not carry energy sales at all. So they will simply focus on what products we have for sale at this particular station and move it to the target station. So it is a great way of accomplishing that. Let's take a look at actually what this guy is looking to do now. It looks like he's just finished up a trade over here with the trading station. He's coming back over to the source station and let's see what he's gonna grab. Okay, he's gonna grab some more uh, space weed. And again, they'll grab any of the products that are available. You notice in the selection uh, for the default behavior, there is no option to select certain wares. This mod was not intended to focus on certain wares. Uh, there are other mods that will do that that are available uh, on Nexus mods. But for this purpose, any mod that is sold by the source station can be taken over to the target station. So this guy's coming back to get some space weed and then he's going to run it right back over to the trading station and sell all of that. So a great name for this mod station mule because he is going to go that same route back and forth. Same thing with our other trader. You can see right now he's got the dust on board. So he's taken that over uh, to be sold. So everything is working great. If we come back in under logical overview, because both of these guys show as subordinates for this particular factory, if we go under management accounts, you can see every time they make a trade, it's very easy to tell where the profits are going and it allows me to keep much better track of the profitability of this particular station. Okay, now let's come back out and let's take a look at another option. Because you can use any two stations you want, whether they're player owned or AI owned or a combination of the two, as we've just seen with our first example, now let's come in and take a look at an example of moving wares between two stations that I own. Okay, we've got station number one that is making a few things that station number two can use. So a great way of allowing these two stations to share, and right now I have a few runners that are actually uh, going back and forth from station one as the source 
over to station two as the target. And here you can see I've got Energy Cell Runner. He's actually going over to the Spaceweed factory to run nothing but energy cells since that's the only product that is actually made by station one that is needed by our space weed factory so we've got one runner there for energy cells then i've got two additional runners that are going from station one over to station two so let's go ahead and pull up one of these right now and again you can see default behavior station mule source station station one target station station two assign it to the source so that i can get it out of my unassigned list and keep things a little bit more neat and tidy but he doesn't have very far to go these stations are located right next to one another and let's see what he's trading right now right now it looks like he is moving silicon wafers back and forth yeah there we go so he's moving the silicon wafers back and forth let's see if our other runner is currently doing the same thing okay looks like he is not he is between orders and right on cue he's queued up another order and looks like okay he's got some things to work out right there because he's trying to do some more silicon wafers and it looks like we might have run out of uh, space on station two to hold any more of those but there you see the real purpose of these two it's a very simple way of setting up a route between two stations to move any materials that might be needed from the source station over to the target station. So that is the Station Mule mod, and I very much appreciate the mod creator, not, not only with all the hard work that they put into creating the mod, but also really appreciate them sharing it with those of us in the community. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we will continue our X4 Foundations content here at Nepic Gaming.